About 12 minutes ago, the aircraft carrying Michael Kovrig and Michael Spavor left Chinese airspace and they're on their way home. They uh, boarded at about 7.30 Ottawa time, uh, along with uh, Dominic Barton, Canada's ambassador to China. Allow me to, to just say once again, I know that there is going to be time for reflections and analysis in the coming uh, days uh, and weeks. But the fact of the matter is, I know Canadians will be incredibly happy to know right now, this Friday night, uh, Michael Kovrig and Michael Spaver are on a plane and they're coming home. Firstly, I'd like to thank the Honorable Associate Chief Justice Holmes for her fairness in the whole legal proceedings. I also appreciate the Crown for their professionalism and the Canadian government for upholding the rule of law. Many thanks to the sheriffs for their hard work. I'm also grateful to Canadian people and the media friends for your tolerance. Sorry for the inconvenience caused. My thanks also go to my sheriff who gave me a handing a help handing when I was in difficulty. Your kindness will be remembered forever. I would like to express my sincere gratitude to the Chinese Embassy to Canada for their consistent support. I'm very proud of my dedicated lawyers, our in-house lawyers, and all my colleagues who have been striving forward during this hard time. Lastly, to my family, to my friends, to everyone who provided care and help for me all along the way. Thank you. Over the past three years, my life has been turned upside down. It was a disruptive time for me as a mother, a wife, and a company executive. But I believe every cloud has a silver lining. It really was an invaluable experience in my life. I will never forget all the good wishes I've received from people around the world. I had the same goals 
the greater the difficulty, the greater the growth. No, we want to take questions. Thank you. 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 Richard, can you uh, tell us about uh, proceedings today? The Attorney General of Canada has just terminated the extradition case against Ms. Mung. Ms. Mung has been put in liberty, free to depart Canada at will. Uh, because the Americans have decided deferred prosecution is the way to go for Ms. Mung, uh, they allowed her free on bail. Uh, as well, uh, she has pled not guilty. There are admissions of wrongdoing, but that is not the same as a guilty plea. Uh, what happens next is the case will continue against Huawei. That's a money issue. How big is the check as a penalty? Uh, with Ms. Meng's uh, freedom from the U.S. process, her freedom from the Canadian extradition process, we expect the freedom of the two detained Canadian Michaels in due course. Uh, Beijing was uh, not so subtle about as subtle as dropping a brick off a 10-story building when it sentenced one of the Michaels to 11 years subject to deportation. Well, the conditions for deportation have been met uh, with Ms. Meng's freedom should uh, uh, coincide with uh, the first Michael's freedom. Uh, it was a last-minute surprise to see agreement uh, by the Americans to defer prosecution of Ms. Meng. Uh, that allowed the Attorney General to withdraw the authorization to proceed in the Canadian extradition case. Ms. Meng is now free to travel at will with no conditions. All her bail is uh, returned to her. Uh, she no longer has to wear that bracelet on her ankle. Uh, next we see uh, continued prosecution of Huawei in the United States. That is going to take some time. The result there may be a penalty. Money. Americans never should have started this case in the first place. President Trump used Ms. Meng as a trade pawn in negotiations with China uh, wrongfully. Uh, President Trump, less than impressed by a profile of a successful female international business person. It took a change in regime in Washington to President Biden to undo his predecessor's political move against Ms. Meng. Uh, President Biden, together with the Canadian government, worked these past few months to secure uh, the deferred prosecution in the United States and the consequent liberty of Ms. Meng in Canada. Uh, next on the agenda will be the release of the two Michaels. Goodwill hangs all over the Pacific today, and in the face of that goodwill, the release of at least one Michael would cause Beijing to lose no face whatsoever. Uh, it's a good ending to a case that's taken too long to resolve. The geopolitical irritant is vanished. We can expect a flourishing trade now between Canada, China, and the USA uh, at the right time. When tensions, economic tensions between the two largest economic powers on the planet are high, as well as the military tension in the Taiwan Straits. Now is the time for rapprochement not to increase tensions. Today's move with Ms. Meng has reduced tensions geopolitically. How do you guys feel right now about the compromise, the resolution? Very pleased. You're very pleased, ma'am? Uh, why are you very pleased? <laughs> Client gets to go home to her family. Would you stop and make comments for the media? Is there anything that you guys can say? Can we, can we just stop and ask a few questions? No, we're not going to no. take any questions. Not right now. But personally, how are you feeling about the conditions now for your client? They're all Very set pleased. forth in the agreement. Can you what? give us details on the deferred prosecution? Agreement? It's going to be filed publicly any minute. Do you feel this was a just case? Politically motivated? What do you feel? Yeah. Guys, have any comments? Can 
Mr. Kessler, could you give us details on the deferred prosecution? We can talk to our press office. Will your office be making any comments at all, Mr. Kessler? Yeah. Ms. Mung, will you be heading home soon? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Morning. You look happy? Thank you for coming to me, Lizzie, to bring you the Today's Hawaii Radio Channel. After watching the show, if you like it, don't forget to give the show a like. Also, please leave a comment in the comment section to give you your opinion on the show. If you are a member of the channel, we will reply to your comments in the first time and answer your questions. 另外，如果还没有订阅的话，请记得要订阅频道，并且打开订阅按钮旁边的小铃铛，这样您就可以在第一时间收到节目发布的最新信息了。再次感谢您观看今日华尔街频道，我是李琦，我们下次再会。